Hi guys, uh, welcome to another update video on the Peter, and here it is. Once again, it has uh, came quite a long way uh, since the last time you saw it. Um, it's in a bit of a state at the moment. Uh, it's uh, part way through being uh, reassembled. Um, as you can see, the cylinder head's been painted um, and I've fixed that pitting around there as well and um, I'll give you a look inside the cylinder if I can get the head off take this off first um, bear with me oh, there we go, that's the back of the cylinder head and that's inside the bore um, I also made new bearings or my dad made new bearings because I really, to be honest, don't have the skills to to make bearings in a lathe. You might just be able to see them in there behind the um, oil thrower ring. Made them from bronze rather than white metal, and uh, made these uh, oil well caps. If anybody's wondering, these threads um, in here. They are 14 teeth per inch. Um, so yeah, they fit quite well. There we are. Made both of those. Um, also just finished making a fuel tank cap. Um, made that last night, it's not quite finished. Still have to get some bits ground off it. Um, that is also 14 teeth per inch. Um, threads in one way or another. <laughs> that's the diaphragm pump there. That's the valve. That's the little spout. Um, made all new gaskets as well. And there, got the um, nameplate re-blackened, or I re-blackened it. If anybody needs that done, then uh, just send a, a nameplate up to me and I'll do it for you. Just make sure that the letters are risen, not sunk into the nameplate. Um, yeah. The crankcase and the fuel tank are not, um, or they've not been put back together yet, they're just resting on top of one another at the moment. Next to all the other parts. Got the carburetor up here. Um, that's the drain valve, the filler cap for starting the engine on uh, petrol. Oops, because this engine is petrol paraffin. Um, hence the five millimeter thick carbon that was inside it when uh, I first got it. Uh, got a new head gasket as well. Um, somewhere here, oh, yes, there we go. new head gasket um, and when I bought this engine the fire extinguisher, uh, the fire extinguisher, I apologise for that the uh, exhaust was not with it so uh, I made one from a fire extinguisher is what I was trying to say or I'm in the process of making one this is it here this was originally couple of foot long fire extinguisher. There's the other section there that I cut from it. Um, and this bottom part here was a square um, base which was put into the lathe and turned down to give it a nice curve. A hole was put in the bottom and threaded. Um, and inside here there is a lip that um, stretches from halfway up here to halfway up here which is has holes in it and they are countersunk and threaded. Um, so that's how it's held together. Um, obviously I still have to uh, get a hole drilled in it there. Um, roughly the same diameter as uh, this here. And uh, make up some sort of thing to uh, thread or to attach it with. Um, there's the original pipe. Um, done some research into it, 
and that is actually original, although it looks a bit of like a bit of a boy's job. As I said before, this went to a firm called Gilks Pumps, and um, I'm not sure what it did whilst it was with them, but it was a fitted engine. It was not movable. So the exhaust gases would have came out this pipe into an exhaust and up to the roof of wherever it was working. Um, and that's how it was uh, vented, I guess. That's how the exhaust gases were vented. Um, I've also decided not to do the uh, normal water cooling tank, just a separate tank. What I've opted for is... Um, something that looks more like a Rolls Royce radiator, if you know what that looks like. I've got a little representation here. This is off a model steam engine um, that my dad built. But it's going to look something like that. Um, and that's going to be mounted at the back of the engine. Um, so yeah. Got a reed valve in there too. Slip that back on. Um, I've also decided to uh, write an article um, on this engine, the restoration of this engine, and uh, send it into the stationary engine magazine. Obviously, I've not finished the article yet because I've uh, not finished the engine, but uh, here's hoping when I send it in, they'll accept it. Um, this is a Magneto as well. Um, got this gear painted. Um, got this polished up at the back here. As I said in the last video, it's making a huge spark. I can get the cap off for you. Let you see the points. Um, so yeah. Um, that's about it really. If anybody's wondering, that's the uh, hole saw that I'm going to use to cut the hole in the fire extinguisher. Slash exhaust for the um, <laughs> for the hole. Um, so yeah. Also, if you haven't seen the video of the uh, the Wolseley running, then uh, go and check that out. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions on this uh, engine, then uh, feel free to ask me in the comments or PM me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.